let's now focus on uh, uh, how uh, you see uh, you know portfolios shaping up uh, if one by one uh, you could share your picks uh, which you would want to add in the portfolio at current levels uh, it would be wonderful mayuresh absolutely morning sir uh, so two aspects here one uh, in terms of uh, what we are looking at at markets made in india one of the stocks within the broader markets is kirloskar oil engines uh, if you look and deep delve into this company uh, one of the largest producers in terms of uh, generator sets across uh, power out pop power outputs uh, so from 2 kva to at most 1200 kva so it covers the entire power output uh, uh, that that they can probably cater to the second aspect obviously is numbers itself but now if you probably look at the top line for the part of one why numbers just came in yesterday uh, 1500 crores in terms of top line uh, much better than what the street expected and much better in terms of both of high overhead and quarter of quarter performance uh, this has got replicated across to its bottom line so i think ebitda margins have expanded year on year quarter on quarter on a standalone basis in excess of 12 and a half percent the bottom line growth uh, has been substantial for the company in the quarter on by uh, at 125 or crores uh, compared to what probably did last year and even a better performance quarter on quarter as well uh, so the consolidated eps has come to almost 9 or rupees they had uh, done almost 24 rupees uh, last year so if you go on an annualized basis looking at how q1 is expected to, to, to how q1 has performed now the rest of the quarters might be q1 expected to be one of the weaker quarters and substantial performance here on so second half pickup we can be extremely substantial so my own sense is an eps of 30 to 35 not pulled out and therefore our markets with uh, both the eps rs rating looks extremely positive uh, Uh, debt is very very minimal on its books. Whatever debt is there is related to the new financial services part that they are probably servicing at this point of time, uh, and therefore the delivery yield of 1.25 this looks very very attractive. So we're looking at an 80-20% upside. Uh, we do keep stop losses as you know, so I think the stop loss is placed at 0.8420. Uh, the other one that we like, Chelsea, is uh, uh, Indigo Paints. Right. From the paint. Mayuresh, Sorry. let's discuss uh, KOEL first, and then we'll get to the next one. Uh, sure. the stock already is at a record high uh, that you see uh, but nothing much has happened on uh, kirloskar oil engines uh, if you look at the 10 year performance is actually uh, underperformed both the sensex and the bsc small cap index uh, it's just compounded at uh, 11% uh, over the last 10 years each year so the stock might be at a record high but remember uh, it's the infrastructure capex cycle Uh, that is kicking in into the economy and it is stocks like uh, koel uh, when given a very nice tailwind of their earnings are likely to outperform mayuresh is my thinking right as far as uh, koel is concerned we haven't seen anything happening over the last decade as far as the stock price is concerned but better days ahead Well, absolutely you you bang on the spot uh, and 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 the entire logic probably just translates uh, both in terms of their capacities that they have at this point of time uh, and the entire power chain is going through a huge amount of transition now a lot of power stocks have probably moved uh, across uh, across the across the chain so whether they are uh, you know, generators trans- transformers uh, players whether they are transmission players or even the epc guys uh, to a certain extent i think this is one of the backbones that is probably required for the entire power infrastructure as a space uh, and both domestic and export markets are holding extremely well uh, in fact the best part shells are about this stock is that uh, with the new emission norms that are kicking in the cpcb norms as we call it uh, emission 4 this company is fully compliant across its value chain where no other company in the indian ecosystem system is probably present at this and the interesting part mayuresh uh, just i was uh, drilling through uh, your uh, uh, market smith india website uh, yeah. at where you so ably head research uh, the 10 year pe uh, the average 10 year pe and the current pe of the stock uh, is 17 and 19 uh, uh, respectively so uh, there is really really no uh, how should i say exuberance in the stock even if it is at a record high so probably any dips uh, here uh, should make it all the more attractive uh, coming to the price to book 10 uh, year uh, median is 2 2 and at the moment the stock is at 2.9 again uh, nothing out of the ordinary when it comes to uh, you know uh, roaring valuations that we see in some capex uh, stocks as far as uh, uh, that particular sector is concerned so uh, 
Kirloskar oil engines, Mayuresh. Before we get to the next one, uh, would you hazard a guess uh, uh, given uh, things remaining same, uh, you know, uh, our defenses, Citrus, Paribus, uh, as it is in economics, where would you see uh, the stock one year from now? I think the minimum target is uh, the, the highest test score that Lara, the highest score that Lara has done, 501. So I think that's the minimum that you are probably looking at sales of the type of cricket correlation, correlation put in. Uh, I can't debate with you on economics, uh, so I think I'll try to put my cricket dynamics in. <laughs> okay, so 500 for uh, what is better known as coil in the markets. Let's hope you <laughs> listen to beautiful music on uh, Kirloskar oil engines. Uh, Mayuresh, the next one. Where do you see good color coming in? Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, we do like indigo paints. Uh, uh, obviously, crude prices have moved uh, uh, over the last few weeks, uh, but it is not a structural move as we see it. Uh, and therefore, I think the apprehensions that market has got uh, that crude might move significantly from here, creating a dent in terms of input costs and therefore earnings for paint companies is unwarranted at this juncture, really, uh, because paint companies have taken to a large extent uh, price hikes. They might not roll back their price hikes if crude remains in the same fashion. And the expectations in terms of volume growth, uh, shells are specifically in the second half, as festivities will start kicking in, is expected to be significant. Uh, for Indigo in general, I think 27-28% in terms of volume growth compared to Venetian paints at 8, Kansai and Aerolac at 5%. The addition that probably happens in terms of their volume growth is the value-added products, which is almost 34%. So the cement paints, the ceramic paints that it has got, the wood surface paints that it has got, is something which is unique uh, in the paint industry itself. And they have been growing at a humongous pace. Uh, the company is also stating that July, and till we speak, has been extremely positive for the company. First half is normally very, very soft, but it has turned out that first half has turned out to be extremely strong for this company in general, and even better second half will mean volume stroke value growth will be significant going forward. Uh, top line growth significantly higher, gross margins at 46-47%, the best in the industry, EBITDA margins at 70.5%, expected to remain stable or even improve going forward. Putting up a couple of plants, water-based and solvent-based in the next few months, uh, that should aid volume growth going forward. And not substantial amount of debt in their books makes it a very, very compelling case uh, as far as uh, individual cases. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.